Well, there's a whole lot of action going on out here in the country today. I'm uh, side dressing. The neighbor next to me is planted yesterday and he's uh, catching some escapes. And then the neighbor next to me is uh, planting. Hardly ever see three operators out at one time. I'll go over some details on the side dressing a little bit. Good afternoon from Two Happy Children Farm. We're uh, March, let's see, it must be the 21st. We're outside dressing here in Central Texas. The corn here is at five collar stage and uh, growing rapidly. If you watch my channel, you know we put out a uh, nitrogen with our pre-emerge and we like to come back and try to get the most uh, bushels per acre as well as use the most uh, nitrogen per bushel or at least per bushel and uh, so we side dress. Uh, my side dress trick is uh, just my sprayer. I have it on uh, 30 inch centers. Uh, ordered some hoes and some orifices from Jensen in Illinois. And I'm just dribbling 32% down the middle of the rows. To keep the nitrogen in place, I've uh, treated it with nitrogen stabilizers so that uh, if we don't get a rain for a few days, it's not going to disappear. I think a lot of guys were caught by surprise this year with the uh, warm weather and uh, they didn't plant the same time I did so they waited and then the week later it got wet and then the week after that it got wet and the week after that it got wet and then before you know it, you're still planting. And this field behind me is waiting to be planted. So seeing a lot of cultivating and planting going on today. And meanwhile, I'm at foot tall corn and I'm side dressing it. population studies and uh, I've 
excited. I'm not going to be nutrient deficient on these. I want to see what the population is really possible here. So the way I change my uh, flow or how much I put out per acre is I change my tractor speed. So I'm going really slow now, about four miles an hour. And that puts out a little more nitrogen uh, for these plant population splits. The main farm, I'd probably go about six miles an hour, five to six. So we're putting on a little extra here. Up in the distance, that's my uh, nurse trailer. And uh, I've said before, that corn was just planted north of me yesterday. If you look over there, you see another corn field going in right now. They're predicting some rain on Friday, which would be great if this worked in, and then some more rain next week. That's one of the drawbacks with uh, the side dressing and the laying it on top is you need to get rain to incorporate it. I wanted to do this two weeks ago, but we were wet. Because I want to get it out as quick as I can so I can catch some rain and get it incorporated. Since we're in Texas and it can get dry really quick. But it looks like this year the weather is going to cooperate. and. Uh, I'll have moisture to work with and get this incorporated by, by the rain. It's the kind of weather we could be running the air conditioning, but I don't have it on. Just have the windows open. I like the fresh air. It's going to be 84 today. We were piling up a lot of heat to get this corn moving. We had a brief period last week where the corn was yellow. Some mornings were down to 39 degrees. And they recovered it pretty quick as soon as we started getting warm again. I've already done my uh, post-emerge wheat killer. So for most part, of the farm. This will be my last pass through the field. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm thinking about coming back on a week from now and doing some uh, fungicide splits just to do a couple strips at V6 on my best ground and uh, see if there's anything there. I always want to be trying something because you only get one year to do it before you know it the window.